Hello everybody at YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create or run your Windows Disk Management. Now, the other day I installed a, another hard drive into my computer, but I realized that it's not showing up. Many people may or may not experience this problem, but what I am currently going to show you is how to make it appear. Now, this will not work if your hard drive is defective or you've installed it wrong. Now, what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to here and showing you how to configure this. Now, what you're going to do is go to the start bar, right click on the computer, and click manage. Gonna wait till the management pops up. All right. Now, what you're going to do once this is here, see where it says storage. Normally, you would probably have to bring down this down arrow and then click on this where it says disk management. All right. Now that's loaded. I. You, can, you cannot see the new hard drive that you have installed right now up here, but you can down here. Now, what you're going to see how it says unallocated, and it has the total amount of space. Now what you're going to do is you're going to right click it, click on new simple volume, a wizard will pop up, click on next, and then where it says is how big you want your volume. Right now I'm just going to cut it in half. 5,000 megabytes which is properly around half of 10.8 gigabytes. Now what this is going to do, to, to do is it's going to split your hard drive. So maybe you want some music on one side, maybe you want some pictures on another or anything that you want basically. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to avoid these first four letters, just because a lot of other programs or, or physical hard drives or anything like that may use them. Like A, for example, would be used by a floppy drive. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just change, assign the letter to H. Now, you can make it so it doesn't assign a letter to the drive path but then make it more difficult to access you would have to come into the disk management to access it almost any time unless if you have a third party program that allows you to access it that way what I'm going to do is I'm going to click next alright now you can choose not to format the volume but then it would basically be unusable now see where it says NTFS for FAT32 NTFS is good for whenever you have like a 80 gigabyte hard drive or per se like a 2 terabyte hard drive. FAT32 is good for relatively small hard drives. But for everything else I'm just going to choose NTFS because FAT32s you cannot put files greater than a certain size on it. Now, allocation unit size, I'm just going to leave that at default. Now, this is where you can change your volume label. I'm going to change this to music because I want half of it to be music and half of it to be pictures. All right. Click format is enabled. Um, folder compression, it's if you would want to. But what it does is it compresses the files, makes them smaller so you can more likely fit more in them but I never really noticed a difference personally. Now this right here is, you can look through it, you can review everything. Yes, I want everything like this. Um, click finish. It'll perform the actions you so desired. Uh, I got a little pop up right there from my antivirus. I'm going to click scan later. All right, now half of my hard drive just showed up because that's all I wanted to show up, and it's labeled as disk age, but it's music. It doesn't say local hard drive. It says music. 
That's because I named it music. Now, you still got five gigabytes left. Roughly five gigs. Now what you're going to do here is you're going to basically follow the same instructions and everything. And label it something different. Now, say you maybe you have you don't have enough room in your in your hard in your hard drive for all your music and all your goodies. What you're gonna do now is well let's just make this simple. What you're gonna do now is just extend your volume, alright? Like this you would be clicking next. Now this right here this is select the amount of space that you would want to expand it by. Now you can make this anything like let's say you you only need like two gigabytes. So now I would just make it two gigabytes, which is roughly so click next, you can finish. Now if that expanded it by two gigabytes as you see it used to be four, now it's six. Alright, now say if you don't have all that music and you want to just make it smaller, you would do the same thing. You would just enter the amount of space to shrink. Now, what I'm going to do, say, hey, I don't have very much music. I only need maybe two gigabytes of music. So, I would, I would shrink that by four gigs, alright? So... Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click show. Alright, this has been happening to me for a while. It keeps saying the action is not supported. I could only assume it's because I had things running in it. So I'm going to try this again. Alright, it is being difficult. But anyways, that should work on a normal computer. I'm currently running a a virtual computer so maybe it locks itself afterwards now to make this into a different volume like I said you're going to you can have up to four di separate hard partition spaces I believe it is in your and one hard drive so yes you could split this up into half of that as well so you can have pictures and family videos I'm just gonna click next videos and finish. All right. See, it will do the same thing. Give it some time, and then it's formatting. I see right here it pops up up here too. Now I click computer, and there it is. That's your music and your videos. All right. Now some people may be curious about the system reserved. You don't mess with that. That's bad. You you don't mess with system reserve files. Anyways, if you say, hey, I don't want none of this stuff anymore, or you upgrade to a different hard drive and you want to just transfer it all to that. Now you go through the default method of transferring by clicking on your your hard drive and going through and copy and paste everything over there. But say you don't want this to be split up anymore. All you have to do is go click on format, <clears throat> perform a click, click format. I'm sorry, no. What you would do is click delete volume. This will delete everything on it, blah, blah, blah. You know that. Because you already backed it up, so hopefully you won't need it. <laughs> so, alright. Right, right now, what it's doing is it's deleting the E sector. After it gets done deleting that, you can also, you can either extend this volume to the rest of it, or you can delete it and just make everything, but I'm going to extend it to everything I'm extending it, I'm sorry for my horrible speech. Now it's a full 10.08 gigabytes. Alright, now what I'm going to do is say you don't want that to be named music. All you have to do is click on that you would remove it and then all you would have to do is just format it and there you go 
just change that to whatever you wish to call it. I want to say important files. Click next. Yes, format it. It is currently formatting it. All right, important files. All right. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna obviously add a letter to it, I, and then you're going to, there you go. And this is gonna pop up again. All right, <clears throat> well, if you have any questions, like, comment, and rate it, whatever. Um, I hope this has helped somebody out there, and as always, have a great day.